Hey there, Tim Lee, Legacy Studio, doing another musical reaction. And these are a ton of fun, especially when your wife walks up to you and says you got to do this song. And so I have one more song that my wife has asked me to do a reaction to. Um, and in my 10 years of making YouTube videos, my wife has never asked me to make a YouTube video. So when she asks, everything else gets put down. She gets precedence. So, but I know you're going to like this song. I love this song. So this is my reaction, of course, uh, and more uh, just... Uh, sharing my love of this song and uh of course Hugh Jackman you're going huh uh, yeah uh the greatest showman the song is from now on and uh yeah I know you're gonna like this one if you've never seen uh, the movie the greatest showman it's an excellent movie and this is what makes it kind of special I saw the sun begin to dim and felt that winter wind when I first heard Hugh's voice for this, it didn't feel very sing songy. Now, you got to understand, this guy has been on Broadway. This guy is an incredible singer. But this is not a normal singing voice. There's something different about Hugh's voice. So when you're like, it, it sounds like he's talking while he's singing. It, it, this is something that he is so incredibly good at. But I would say this man would have killed in the years of vaudeville. Uh, this man would have killed in the years of, and he's doing amazing even today, obviously. He's one of my favorite actors. But his voice is different in a good way, but it's different. A man learns who is there for him when the glitter fades and the walls won't hold. Cause from that rubble, what remains can only be what's true. If all was lost, there's more I gained. Cause it led me back. you this is a man who is incredible at acting and singing at the same time think about uh now a lot of people would say that the movie Le Miserable or Les Mis as my wife likes to say it um was not a uh, a good uh version of Les Mis um the movie itself but Hugh Jackman was in that played the role um in that and once again very very skilled at acting and singing and being on Broadway and bringing that to these movies, it shows in his work. I drank champagne with kings and queens The politicians praised my name But those were someone else's dreams The pitfalls of the man I became For years and years I chased their cheers A crazy speed of always needing more But when I stop and see you here I remember who all this was for And from now on These eyes would not be blinded by the light I'm going to go ahead and say this And I hate to say this But as I listen to his voice It's not as clean As some other singers I've heard um, and I also feel like they might be trying to do a little bit of auto-tune to his voice in this song. I'm not sure. I'm just getting a feeling. It feels very compressed, at least in what I'm hearing through my headphones in this song. And obviously it's a lyric video, so it might be different in some of the other versions. But everything feels very compressed. And even as he belts in some of... And he hasn't really belted yet, per se, but he's come close to it. 
it feels not very powerful. So it's either down to the editing that they did in this video or um, or he's staying within his headspace a lot. Um, I like when he holds his notes and, and holds that without vibrato. He uses an awful lot of vibrato, and I think that comes from experience of working in... Um, uh, working in opera, in opera, you you usually use a lot of vibrato, uh, and his natural inclination is to use a lot of vibrato. Unfortunately, my natural inclination is to use a lot of vibrato, and it he's very skilled. And I think right now he's more focused on the acting than he is on the singing. Uh, and I think that um, I personally see that in this moment, but it doesn't negate how amazing the song is. But let's keep going. It starts tonight. When he hits that main part and you hear the vibrato as he holds it, that's when he starts really showing his true colors. That long hold at the very end there, that's when it felt really empowering. Still, a lot of um, compression on this song. I want to blame the edit of this video in that because it just it's really not showing his true strength in that right now. The, the whole group singing, though, that's beautiful. Oh, I love the beat. That was a belt. That was a belt. And that felt closer to what I would expect from him. That felt like it was coming more lower. Uh, the way they have his voice compressed makes everything feel like it's in his headspace. And I feel like they're doing him a disservice because this man has a voice and he can go really guttural. He can do some really incredible things. But they're, they're, I want to ah, leave your comments down below. Because I personally, uh, this this video might not best suit my 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 opinion here, and I don't have experience in much of this. This is just my my gut instinct. So I could be saying a million things wrong. So put your comments down below. What do you think? <laughs> and unlike Les Misérables or Les Mis. Uh, they recorded all the audio on set. So when they're singing uh, in in the Le Mis movie, uh, if you watch the behind the scenes, they recorded all the musical stuff. They recorded everything on set. Uh, to me, the quality of this sounds like it was done in a sound studio and done in a, uh, a music production studio. And then, you know, they're voicing over it. I mean, not voicing, but lip lipping over it, as you would expect. <laughs> You can feel that though, in that high note that he does. You feel like you can feel it coming from his chest. You can feel it coming down lower, and I and and I he has a deeper 
huh you can you can tell and and if you if you have experience in singing when when you open up your your vocal box and you try to get that deeper tone like yawning you know you yawn and you try to get that deeper tone in here uh, my natural way of talking is very nasal but if i was to go to my vocal box and open up that vocal box this is more my li that it when he talks it sounds more like he's reaching into that vocal box reaching lower into the chest and he's getting some of those notes a bit more but yeah Love the harmonies. Beautiful. I know this is probably overkill, but I want to play the audio that they have, the official audio from the movie, and, and see if this sounds any different. Just curious. That feels way different. Way different. Much deeper. The wind blow calm. A man learns who is there for him when the glitter fades and the walls won't hold. Yeah. That feels different to me. I don't know about you guys, but. If all was lost, there's more I gained. Cause it led me. We'll see what he does in his belt. To you. That's deeper. From now on, these eyes will not be blinded by the light. Mm, so much better. From now on. Once waited till tomorrow starts tonight. Oh man, he's holding the notes better. Let this Way better. In me start, like an anthem in my heart. Oh, so much better. From now on. From now on. Not sure if it's placebo, but this feels different to me. I mean, you would expect them to use the same track between the two, but... I drink champagne with kings and queens The politicians praised my name but I like this. I like this track. The pitfalls of the man I became I would have turned down that guitar just a little For bit. years and years I chased their cheers Crazy speed of always I like this a lot more. Oh my. But when I stop and see you here, I remember who all this was for. That feels better. These eyes would not be blinded by the lights. From now on, watch wait until tomorrow starts tonight. I like this so much better. Oh. 
I'm sure I've already gone too far over this video. I, I Now I'm in a study mode, and I don't mean to be. Uh, if you're still with me, I'm impressed, and thank you. Hit that like button if you appreciate the extra effort that I'm, I'm digging into this. Like I said, his natural inclination is to add extra vibrato, but this sounds so much different to me and so much better. So I don't know if this is, and like I said, a placebo effect where this is the same audio or if they did do some editing to the audio and compressed everything to, 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 I feel like the music is coming over his voice more in this one. And I would have turned that down just slightly. I would have pulled it back just a little bit to get his voice out there more forward. But this still sounds way better to me. This has been processed a lot differently, a lot differently than the music video. And we will come back home, home again. And we will come back home, and we will come back home, home again. His voice sounded much more hollow in the music video. Here I'm hearing much more tin, I'm hearing much more treble, I'm hearing a lot more higher frequency ranges in my ears, and that's also helping the bass stand out more. So in the first part of the song where we're hearing him do his, his gentle whispering from his, from his vocal box and from his headspace, that felt very different. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like it's coming from his chest a bit more now. And it's still going down into uh, into his uh, diaphragm, but he pushes a lot from the chest in his voice. There's his guttural. That that's that's coming from lower. I hope I'm right about this. I, I I've studied a little bit of music theory. I've start, studied a little bit of, of singing. My mom had me take classes on uh, singing properly. I was in choir as a kid, not by my choice, uh, but, but she had me in choir. She thought that singing was a very key part. Uh, she apparently liked my voice. Um, and so as a kid, I, I sang a ton, and I understood a lot of the... Um, a lot of the things, you know, on where you would pull from for certain things, but, you know, not professional in any sort, just with a minimal bit of knowledge. And that's the only reason why I assume that I know what I'm hearing here. If you have a differing opinion, let me know about down below. <laughs> Yeah, the the 
production done in this song I feel is different than the uh, than the other video. I think they produced that one differently. Maybe had someone else produce it. There's a big difference between the two for sure. Uh, it, I hope I'm being right about that. Well, this went a little longer than I meant it to, and I apologize. We've listened to the same song twice, but hopefully I found some of the things that I was trying to figure out, and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you did, hit that like button, and let me tell you something. Hugh Jackman is easily one of my favorite actors. The guy is so incredibly gifted, and uh, I've seen, I would love to see him on Broadway. I've never seen him on Broadway. I've seen some of the stuff that he's done on Broadway in video and small snippets and things, and that man is just so multi-talented. I mean, that guy is incredible. I, I hope he never ages. <laughs> He's absolutely incredible and, and someone you can really look up to for how he acts, how he reacts, and just how, how he is. I mean, that is a cool person. Someone you wish you could meet in your lifetime, you know. So, uh, I have no idea if I got anything right on that, but that's my my uh, attempt of reacting uh, to it and giving my input on it. And if you have a different thought... Let me know down below. We're all out our opinions, and uh, honestly, I feel like my opinion was thrown off by the processing of that first video, because I feel like he came out much stronger in the second song. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, and as always, make your suggestions on songs I should listen to and react to. Um, like I said, raised very traditionally. I was raised on hymns as a kid, uh, and that was the gist of my musical stuff as a kid and so now as uh, still as a christian and as an adult you guys are introducing me to a culture that i did not have as a kid uh to the cult classic songs to the uh all the incredible stuff but uh also i do need to say a humongous thanks to my wife for suggesting that song for me to react to and then secondly uh humongous thanks to my legacy historians tony allen and sean hammond Tony started something. He's causing trouble. This was his suggestion. And here we are doing these uh, song reactions. And uh, I hope I hope that uh, you guys enjoy it. If you do, I need two favors. One, hit that like, well, three favors. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notifications. That goes with the subscribe. And then um, also consider hitting that join button. This is all copyright. We know it is. Um, so any ads that happen from this, uh, if we're allowed to share this video, go to support them. If you enjoy this kind of content here, this is my full-time job. So consider hitting that join button and uh, and supporting the cause of clean content here on YouTube. That's what I do. That is what Legacy Studio is about. And I want to fill uh, the void of of clean content on YouTube. I want to continue to work on that. And uh, this is one of those ways that I can do that. So if you enjoyed this, consider all those things. And thank you so very much if you subscribed and added to this subscriber counter. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it crispy. First Tim 412. I'll see you later. God bless.